and welcome back to Dad and Diesel. And look who we got back with us today, Holly. Uh, remember how I told you a lot's been going on? I didn't elaborate. Why do we want to talk about the last five days? Sure. Okay. Yeah. What happened? What has happened in the last five days? I got sober from alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, day one. How was that? I could not even stand. I couldn't keep my balance. I stayed in bed the entire day, sweating and aching everywhere. Day two? Day two was a little better, but I was still kind of just yuck. And then day three, I had a seizure. Day four, I felt good. Today, it's day five, and I feel pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the seizure, yeah. It's you know, we were talking about motels because we're going out of town, and we're talking about TV show, and then heard her make a, a weird noise, and I looked over, and I'm like, she's having a seizure. And then when it was all over, I, I'm trying to tell her, hey, babe, you're going to the hospital. Wake up, wake up. And she's like, what? I was just sleeping. Yeah, she said, I was just sleeping. She had no clue she had a seizure. Uh, so, yeah, that was interesting. It, it's not... Uh, good thing to see the one you love do that. So yeah. Uh, also, uh, I talked about how things are going to be changing here soon. Uh, Diesel's going to be going down to his mom's for a little bit. He'll be back, and then we're bringing him back. My baby girl. Yeah, and we call her JJ. Yep. Uh, so we'll have Peyton, JJ, and Diesel will be back, and then we have my uh, other son, Anthony. Which I doubt you'll ever see, but if you do, it'd be a surprise. And so we got a lot going on still, and so we've been a little busy. Uh, we've had some, a lot of medical appointments and dental appointments, and unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> thought she had cancer. No, we still the jury's still out on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, they think it's just uh, some lesions that need cut off and burned. So you still got to get that done. So it's been interesting. It's been busy. So we're sorry the videos haven't been cranking out as uh, fast and as often as we like but we're, they should start picking up in July I think by the second third week in July I think we'll be back to pumping out four five six even more videos maybe a week I don't know we'll see but today this is what we got for you here on dad and diesel uh, we got Tom McDonald scars we all have scars in one way or another whether they're emotional physical whether they're in our heart or in our mind we all have the scars and people cover them up in different ways. Uh, and Addiction, I, tattoos. Yeah. You know, physical stuff. Isolation. Self -harm, isolation. Uh, we mean, don't there's know. There's healthier ways like exercising and drawing and writing poetry. Fishing. Fishing. Yeah, we fish yeah. a lot. Yeah. We don't know where this song is going to go. Uh, this is our first reaction to it. We've never heard it. So we're going to see what it's like. We love, we're really big Tom McDonald fans. Mm -hmm. But if you're new to this channel, I'm Dad, and Diesel and I started this channel before we got Holly into our life and, and her kiddos. And and so Diesel and I worked on this channel a little bit. He doesn't like being on camera a lot. He's behind the scenes. Uh, and we do videos. Yeah. So watch this whole video for us. It does us a big favor. And at the end of the video, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Visit the links in the description. And leave a comment, whether it's negative or positive, because we can't fix the things you don't like unless you tell us. So let us know, you know, is my hair stupid? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or do I tell stupid dad jokes? I really haven't got all the way comfortable on camera yet. Once I do, you might start seeing all my dad jokes come out. But today, we got Tom McDonald scars. Let's do this, man. Come on. Don't remember how I got all these scars, but I know I lived a hell of a life. I can't remember how I made it this far, but I know it was a hell of a fight. Could have been some bones in a coffin stone, drinking vodka locked up with the bros. Cause I know this is off topic, but is somebody playing the flute in that picture back there? Okay. Seriously? Okay, I'm, okay. Oh seriously. God. Anyway. <laughs> Look, he's going. He's playing the guitar. He's going through the photo album, reminiscing. Uh, he's got the tote. Is that a tote over there that he's got out, maybe, or is that the coffee table? That's the coffee table. But I think he's reminiscent about the memories, 
and I think that's where we're going to go. Uh, he recently just picked up the guitar in the last year or so. No kidding. And so uh, if that's true, he's really come a long way. He's, he's strumming chords and, and recording songs. So I like it so far. We'll see where it goes. Remember how I made it this far, but I know it was a hell of a fight. Could have been some bones in the coffin stone, drinking vodka locked up with the bros, causing problems broke at the bottom. You know that I got a lot of marks under these clothes, should have killed me somehow, I survived. These tattoos. Pretty basic, simple uh, chorus. It's uh, not basic or simple. That's deep. That's it is deep, but it's it's There's simple. There's a whole lot of pain that people don't show, like you know things that happen to you in your childhood and your adulthood. We don't like to advertise our pain to everybody. And you can actually, when he performs, you feel it. Yeah, I do. I you feel it. his energy. You feel that it's genuine yeah. lyrics that he feels when he raps or sings. He makes me feel too, like he reminds me of my past. Yeah. Don't remember how I ended up here, but I know I probably should have died. I don't remember why I cried all those tears, but I know that I turned out all right. Yeah. I know that people wanted me dead. I lost all my friends was running from the cops getting bread was dark in my head you know that I have seen a lot of things in all of my years but I'm thankful for this crazy life mm. every single scar and every single scrape every bruise and tattoo along the way tells a little story that I can't explain because the words escape me but the marks remain they won't yeah. ever fade and they can't be erased they made me who I am and I am not ashamed every bump and scratch and every drop of blood prove how far I've came that one it hits really deep, that line. Like, you know how many times I've tried to tell you like about my past and I mm -hmm. can't even get the words out. I don't even know where to begin. Yeah. And sometimes you tell the same story over and over and I think we're about to get new information, but I can see you catch yourself. You don't tell too much. I don't know. It's not that I don't. It's, it's like, like you're, you're holding saying, back. Like I hide it from people because yeah. I, who wants to advertise all that pain? I, I turned out all right, yeah, and yeah. if I if it weren't for the pain that I've gone through, I wouldn't have you. <laughs> oh. Or my baby. Don't make me cry on camera. <laughs> So you've crashed cars. I have, not on purpose. <laughs> you've gotten stitches in your legs, right? Um, Some not in my legs, but in my arms. Oh, okay. My stitches uh, are mostly inside my heart, my emotions. You know, like I went through a hell of a life, and I came out. And there was a lot of people that didn't want to see me recover from from alcoholism or from abuse or from depression. And it's hard too. It is really hard. Um, it, it even when you have support, it's still hard. It's a lot easier with you because the support is genuine. Yeah. Do the scars make you not want to go back? Go back where? To where you was. 
Absolutely. It's not it's not any different than it was back then, so my scars are different. You know, everybody has their different scars. My scars are from 23 years in law enforcement and corrections. You know, there's stuff that you know, I I've seen and I've seen more dead bodies and suicides and open stomachs and stuff that I I, I don't you know, I, I can remember them forever and never remember the same one in the same day. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. But <laughs> I just don't want to go backwards because most of it wasn't my fault. It was just, I couldn't, you I couldn't the, get away from it. You let the wrong people in your life. Oh, but that's not your fault because, you know, they come and they, they're they like a Trojan horse. You know, they come in like a, they look like a savior and somebody that's going to be there for you and support you. And they do that for a little bit, and then they're true. Yeah, it's, it's the true worst pain in the out. world is to find out that Superman is really the villain. Yeah, yeah, and I think a lot of girls get that. They get their Prince Charming. Yeah. Instead so of finding out the frog is a, is a prince, they find out the prince is a frog. <laughs> That's a good analogy. Yeah. Bone, all the sticks and stones and the moments when I felt so alone Every single tear and like a million beers that I only drank so I could try to cope Every bloody nose and all the muddy clothes when I was in the dirt down inside a hole Every single scuff and every single scab made me who I am These tattoos on my arms hide from you All the scars You can actually see the pain in his eyes. Like, and um, the conqueror. Once again, though, Nova. Awesome video. Yeah, she's great. I wonder what he says when she goes, All right, babe, I need to stand over in that dirt. I'm going to turn on these powerful fans and blow sand in your face. <laughs> Look serious. I love all of his videos. Uh, Tom and, and Nova... Uh, my favorite artist is Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. um, hands down, I would go gay for Bon Jovi. Oh my God, you just said that on the internet. I did just say that on the internet. Wow. And you know what? I ranked Tom McDonald up there with my Bon Jovi. Because um, of the lyrics. Yeah. They're so powerful. Every song. I have not heard a bad one yet. You know, uh, whether you want to hear it or not, it's the truth. It's the facts. And they're, they're emotional. You know, all the way from... Talking about mental illness, to you addictions, matter, to love, to recovery, to recovery, to uh, political, you know, and abortion, and you know, and I haven't heard one about abortion. Well, he talks about like uh, people are stupid. Uh, I think it's in that song. He goes, a uh, heart, uh, what is it? Uh, organism on Mars is life, but a heartbeat on Earth isn't. Have I heard that one? Yes. Oh. I think you yeah. have. People are stupid. People are stupid. I don't know. I'm, well, maybe if not, we'll do that. <laughs> um, so, you know, he touches all a uh, wide range of stuff. And I don't think it's rare that you'll hear his stance. He spits out the facts and lets and you not decide. not to tell the truth either. But then when he does these emotional and personal songs, it really kind of Because this song ain't about you, it's about him. But it is the, about me at the same time. But it, it makes it about you because of his emotions and feelings and his good lyrics that he writes. Uh, you know, you relate. Yeah, absolutely. To every song I've ever heard of him. Yeah, it's like two people with us two when we talk. You tell me a story and then I tell you a story because I feed off your 
story and your emotions. And, yeah, you really and that's do. the same. He's telling you his story, and then you fill it back. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I ranked him up there in my top five of all-time artists. And, you know, I don't think I have a rap or hip-hop artist other than Michael Jackson that's in my top five. And so, oh, yeah, let's move. He's not in my top ten, bro. So, oh my god! Um, oh, I don't even want to marry you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when when the songs, he does good songs, but yeah, he heard one struggle Jimmy song. You heard them all. Okay, I said it, but take I didn't. It back. I, I didn't say they're not good. Take it back. No take backsies. <laughs> all right, so. Yeah, scars. Both of us, different scars, but we all have them. So if you like this reaction, uh, I want you to leave a comment below. You know, if you don't like it or share it or subscribe, leave comments. Tell us about your scars. Tell us if this song helps you. Give her some encouragement down in the comments below. I want to see some encouragement a lot. Uh, if you ever want to send us anything, a lot of people don't notice we got our P.O. box down there at the bottom. So don't forget to look for our P.O. Box if you want to send us letters. Uh, you know, we, I love letters. Yeah. I mailed her a love letter not too long ago. He sure did. He actually put it in the mail. We live in the same house. Sitting here by the <laughs> desk. Which I just showed my home address. I'll have to blur oh, that out. Or some crazy will show up in my house looking for Justin Bieber. <laughs> I know Justin Bieber lives here. Anyway, uh, so... But, you know, if you do like our channel, subscribe. Keep coming back because we got more coming, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah. So, all right, man. We'll see you another time. Thanks for coming.